Hi, Cindy. We are going to continue with the hat now. Um, where, where we're at right now is finishing up the last bit of the ribbing for the hat. I have cut the, uh, the tail from being such a long tail, uh, so I can go ahead and weave that in. Um, a lot of people go ahead and do like we did. We did the um, uh, yarn where we did double thick for the first two knits and the first two purls. Some people do it a lot longer, then they don't have to do this. Uh, some people go ahead and clip it short right now after you've done so many. I, it just depends on what it's looking like. Um, so after I finished that round of the knit two purl two ribbing all the way around, I uh, decided to go ahead and add one round of just knit entirely around, and I'm finishing that up now. Um, what we're going to do this video is we are going to change the color of yarn. So we'll ha we'll make you know a stripe or two. Um, once we get that done, I'll I'll show you. Um, there's different ways that you do the first stitch, uh, depending on uh, if it's the first row of the new color, the second row, or the third row, and more. Um, if you're just doing one round of the new color, you do it one way. So, anyway, we're finishing this up. Now you go ahead and put your um, uh, marker that you know tells you where you're starting at. And I'm going to lay this down and grab the other yarn. We're just going to add a contrasting color here. And it's really kind of like you know when we when we crochet. Um, we're just going to you know keep on going. My stitch marker fell off here. Okay, so if you were doing it on flat needles um, this first time, I don't believe that you're supposed to slip the first stitch because we're, you know, starting a new uh, thing of yarn, but um, I don't really do the flat knitting. But if you're doing it at least this first time, let's go ahead and do the way I'm doing it right here. So you just lay the new color here, act like you're going to knit, and knit with the new color. Um, I do what I do before. I grab the tail and both yarns and I go ahead and I do that for, I don't know, X number, four or five. It's up to you. Um, it really doesn't make a difference. And then you just continue knitting around in that new color. When you come to round two, if you are using the same color of yarn, um, so the second row of the green, you will slip the first stitch and just knit like normal and then when you get to round three of the new color you will just knit normal so first round do normal second round slip the first stitch third round just do normal um, if you're doing on the flat needles or the flat project without going in the round remember to slip the first stitch and really, that's about it for the color change. Um, just you know, showing you how it's done here. I will do another video to show you, or try and pause this to show you, you know, the slip stitch on the second round. But I'm pretty sure you'll know how to do that. So I'm going to pause for now, Cindy. I'm going to lay this down and pause. Okay, we're back. We're finishing up this round where I'm on the last stitch here. And if you notice, this last one's really loose because we need to tighten the blue yarn. Slip your, your stitch marker. Tighten your blue yarn. Just pull it a little tighter. And then continuing on, um, you'll slip it purl-wise. So you're going to slip it like this. Insert your needle like you're going to purl and then just pull it off. Remember, your first few are two strands of yarn, but you're going to knit them like normal. Knit them like one. And count them as just one stitch if you were counting. And that's how we go ahead and do the second round. So um, the third round, you would just do it like normal. You would not do the slip. Um, this is sort of help with the jogless, um, jogless stripes in knitting. You, it's really one continuous long spiral, even though it doesn't seem it, but it is. And if you don't want it to have the jogs in 
your stripes, you, that's what you should do, but there's nothing you can do if, it's, if you're changing colors uh, for one round. Um, you might have a jog, and there's nothing you can do. Um, my battery's about ready to run out. I hope you're enjoying learning how to knit, and I'll knit a few more rounds of this, and um, at some point we'll get up to the top and we'll be working with double point needles. So have a good evening, Cindy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.